Hi everybody, I hope everyone's been well. So I'm finally back to home base from California and I'm kind of glad to be back but not really because I do miss tremendously family back there but I'm really excited to be making videos again especially because there's quite a bit that I've been meaning and wanting to really share with you guys especially when it comes to product reviews and amazing products that I've just concluded as holy grail status or I've just discovered and they'll be coming up in the next few videos soon. This video, as the title suggests, is a little bit of everything, just as, just an update, my overall conclusive Kali haul, which is not exactly large, but just an interesting share of the products that I've picked up or come across, and as well as my first giveaway, and it's really quite symbolic for me, and I did kind of want to time it this way because last week, which was the 23rd, March, my very first video posting in YouTube last year. So this is kind of like my beauty vlogging YouTube anniversary, which um, it's not that I'm really trying to make it a big deal, but I, I just really have become such a different person and I've just opened up to this world, which has really made me it's something that I feel like I really fit in and it seems very natural for me and I'm just so happy that I actually came across this community and have met all of you guys, the amazing people, events I've been to, inspiring people, I've met YouTube gurus and just everything has been such a great and fabulous experience in the past year and as a token especially for my subscribers and the people that watch my videos or comment or you know have regularly shown support in their way i'm doing my first giveaway it's not a very large giveaway but it's one that truly comes from the heart because it's a product that i truly truly love and i truly believe is the best blusher in the world and it's a limited edition as well so this really comes from the heart because you cannot get this anywhere anymore in fact this was originally purchased as a backup in my mind because it was very rare for anyone to find it at this point this is one of the items that just sells out in the first five minutes it goes online and i'm i've just been so blessed and so happy with um just being here that I just wanted to share this with you guys and I guess giving this product as a giveaway is the best expression of that. So anyway, let me move along and start with my haul and the rest of this video. If you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi guys, so let me get on with my collective Cali haul. And if you're noticing a different background, that's because I moved to an area with a larger counter space so I can actually lay all the products without missing anything out. So I hope the lighting is okay. I know it seems like it's pretty, pretty bright because I don't usually film in this area. But anyway, let me just begin. So these are a mixture of Sephora drugstore and high-end products or department store brands and I've just put them in segregated um, cosmetic bags this I have actually three I've emptied them out and I have this one right here no particular order so let me begin with the largest bag that I've emptied out which is this one right here so I have two large tubs for hair care products um, this one is the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask and I do believe that this is way better than the Moroccan oil. This is a deep smoothing conditioner from L'Oreal's Eversleek line. This is a sulfate free line. A repurchase of Burt's Bees Radiance Body Lotion with Royal Jelly, which to me is holy grail, especially during summer. Ula Henderson African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser, which I do use with my Clarisonic Mia, which I purchased in California as well, but I've shown you guys that. Mario Badescu Hydrating Moisturizer with BioCare and Hyaluronic Acid for the day. Burt's Bee Rejuvenating Lip Balm with Akaberry, which is what I use on a daily basis as my lip moisturizer and primer. Sephora set for summer um, set. This is the Garland Lior Radiance Com Concentrate with Pure Gold. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Spray. This is the Sephora Eyeshadow in Choco Excess number 19. 
and this is the Tarte Lights, Camera, Splashes, Mascara. And as I go along, if I recall, I know there were a bit more from that set, but there's a there was a Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer, but I gave that away. So if I find anything else from that set, I'll let you guys know. Now a few drugstore or more inexpensive products that I came across in Target. Um, let's see. I did grab a few e.l.f. stuff. There's two brushes that I grabbed. This is their fan brush, which I've used before and I've actually used for quite a while as my highlighting applicator because it just gives a very beautiful sheer application. And this one I've heard a lot about. This is their complexion brush. And apparently it's just a great soft brush for any product, whether that be blushes or overall face powders. So I did want to give this a try. These are their cream liners. One is in Metallic Olive, which looks like this. And the other one is in Midnight, which is a navy blue, which looks like this. And those are the two main colors besides black and brown that I usually gravitate towards. Um, I also got this Sally Hansen Cuticle Massage Cream with Apricot Oil. Um, it works amazing. And it looks like this. kind of reminds you of the Dior Cuticle or the, the balm that they have. But this just smells so much better and it's less thick or greasy because a lot of the other cuticle creams or oil that you can they say you can reapply it's really quite cumbersome when you do when you're not home because it's it just feels like it attracts all the germs because of the consistency and the extreme greasiness so this was a great product which did not do that I have two polishes here one I got from Target this is Orly's Lux which is just a beautiful um, metallic finish on my nail for my skin tone a lot of the time it's either it's too bronzy or it's too yellow gold and this is just the perfect in between and i think because it has a cool undertone and it really gives you that very foil like finish this i fell in love with when i actually um had my pedicure done and about two months ago and i never found this shade i was lucky luckily i found it in this beauty supply salon store near my home in California and this is what I actually have on right now it's called Chapel of Love and it's just a beautiful in between like it's a, a true carnation pink it's not a pastel pink or a hot pink and I absolutely love it and it's a tad bit more intense in pigmentation than Sparrow Me the Drama which I love as well but that one is a bit more of a muted carnation pink then I have this bag right here, which houses all the products from the Sephora Glow box set. This is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. It has the Kate Somerville's Exfoliate Exfoliator. This is Tarte's Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Illuminating Serum. Ulla Henderson's Truth Serum. Aircon MD's No Foundation Foundation. Claron's Delicious Self Tanning Cream. And last but not the least, Josie Marin's Argan Oil. And as I've already suggested in my video, amazing set for 35, amazing collection of products.